Hey guys, I'm Brendan. And I'm Joey. We're part of our campus ministry team here at Hope International University. Wanted to take a moment and just remind you guys of a few things before this morning's message. Number one, we want to let you know that we are praying for you. We know that this is the first week and you're getting used to a new normal. So we're here for you. If you need anything, make sure to reach out to us. Secondly, we want to let you know as a way of reminder to be checking your Hope email regularly. There's a lot of information coming out and we want to make sure that you're getting all of that. So check your Hope email. And this morning, Dr. Alexander has a special message for us. So we hope you enjoy this delicious piece of pie. Well, hi, everyone. Who knew when we extended spring break by a week that we'd end up here? And yet here we are. So how are you? Are you stressed? Are you bored? Are you lonely? I bet the annoying roommate doesn't seem so annoying anymore right now. At the beginning of the semester, I spoke about coming out of the cave of anxiety and depression. And several of you reached out to me and let me know that that was a helpful message. And I've thought about it and that image since then. And I think about the stay-at-home orders that we're all under, and it's now like we have a government-built and enforced cave that we all have to live in. And we need to do what we can to follow those directives, but man, the cave is boring. My 23-year-old son looked at me the other night, and he looked at me with a deadpan face, and he said, I am so sick of nothing to do every day. And I said, me too. You can only play so many games of ping pong or try so many times to put the jigsaw puzzle together before you just realize it's just not a lot going on. What I realize about my job is that what makes my job great are not the tasks, it's the people. It's you guys. I miss you. You complete me. Now back to the cave for a minute. In order to get through this time, we have to find some light in the back of the cave while we let the force of the virus weaken. And not just sit or sleep or veg, but we need to find things to do that help us recharge, to recreate to exercise, to read, to create something, to build something. I built a fly fishing storage system for my car. It's amazing. It's not amazing so much as it's functional. But, right, but just building something has been good for my soul. Most importantly, we need to be doing things that are good and healthy for us. Maybe exercise. Here's my strongest recommendation. Stop looking at all the updates about COVID-19. You know, after 9-11, one of the things we found in the mental health world is that people that spent less time watching news footage and interviews around 9-11 were much less anxious and depressed than people who watch lots and lots of coverage. I suspect we're going to find the exact same thing now. If you're fearful, if you're anxious, stop looking at all the updates because here's the facts. What you need to do is common sense. Stay isolated. Stay away from people that might have it. If you're, sticks, if you're sick, stay home. Wash your hands all the time. It doesn't help to watch the updates hour after hour. Now this week I want to share something with you, the HIU family, that is heavy on my heart. And I'm going to ask you to keep this in your heart and pray about it in the coming days. This week the students at Nebraska Christian College found out that this is their last semester. The last few years at Nebraska Christian College have been hit with declining enrollment and greater financial challenges. Now, we've been merged with NCC for four years and we have done what we can to try to help. And they're appreciative. But our board of trustees in our recent meeting decided that because of the financial losses, the most important thing to do was strategically and from a stewardship perspective, wind down operations there. Now some of you ministry majors know some of the students at NCC because you've been doing video courses online with them the last two, three, four semesters. So some of the worship arts people, some of the preaching people. So you know people there. Would you please reach out to them via email or social media and just let them know you care about them and you're praying for them. Many of them will probably come to California. Some of them will probably finish online. When they come, let's be great hosts and understand that that's going to be an awkward transition for them. But if they come, we can show them the beach and Disneyland and all the other cool places right around campus. Over the past year or so, I have been praying fervently for our campus to be one, a place of spiritual renewal. This is an opportunity for, of spiritual renewal as we get new people in and show them the love of Christ that we minister to them in the wake of the school closing. So please reach out to them and would you please pray with me for NCC for students, for staff, for faculty. I gotta tell you, finally, I miss you guys. I really wish you were around. There's nothing to do on campus. 
we miss you. We miss having you around. We're going to have a big party when we start back up in August. Finally, if you haven't heard, commencement has been moved to August 8th. You probably heard, but I wanted to make sure you're hearing it from me if you haven't heard it. So here, let me finish with some parental admonition, all right? Go to class. Do your work. Ask for help from your professors if you need it. And wash your hands. I'm a royal. God bless.